Hello children, today we have come up with another video of crop production and management biology chapter from class 8. मुझे पता है ये चैप्टर का नाम सुनते ही आपके दिमाग में आता है कि why should even we bother to learn about agriculture? Well, if you like your food in shape of paratha or in shape of pizza, you have to be bothered of how it comes to your plate. And who knows, tomorrow you would be the future scientist like M.S. Swaminathan to do something very revolutionary in the field of agriculture. So, let's get started. What does the word agriculture mean? The word agriculture can be split into agra plus cultura. Agra means field and cultura means to cultivate. So yes, it is to cultivate the fields. The process of growing crops. Now please understand, growing one or two plants in your balcony or so-called garden is not cultivation or agriculture. Okay, so the process of growing crops on large scale in the field of obtaining food for our own use is known as agriculture, right? So, when we grow one or more varieties of food items in plenty of number, then we call it agriculture. What is a crop, right? If you have a tomato plant in your backyard, is that agriculture? Is it a crop? No, it is not. When plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale, right? At least one family needs to be supported with this, right? On a large scale, it is called a crop, right? So, there are many groups of crops. The cereals, the most common one is wheat, rice, maize and millet. We need it on a daily basis. Pulses. Green gram, pigeon peas, beans and many others to add with. Vegetables, cabbage, onion, cauliflower, fruits, apple grapes, guava, oil seeds, mustard, groundnut, coconut. They are, help, they are useful in producing oil that we use on a daily basis. Spices, chilies, turmeric, cardamom. Indians are known for it, isn't it? Sugar yielding crops, sugar cane and sugar beet. Medicinal crops, mint and tulsi and beverages, tea and coffee, India being one of the leading producers for this one as well, the tea, right? So, there are many categories of crops and we will learn more about how to cultivate them. India is a country which gets to see many different seasons, right? And a cultivation pattern depends on it too. The main two predominant seasonal uh, agriculture are the Rabi crops and the Kharif crops, right? The Rabi and the Kharif crops. Let's first look at the Kharif crop. I used to remember it this way when I was your age. Kharif khata hai. That means it needs a lot of food and what kind of food would it depend on? Water, right? So, that's a way of memorizing it. Otherwise, it's a choice. Kharif crops. These crops are sown at the beginning of the monsoon season. Jab barish hoti hai, barish ka mausam hota hai, rainy season, India is affected by monsoon, tab hum isko sow karte hai. Right? We are going to sow these crops in monsoon season, right from June to July. And harvest it at the onset of winters. Right? Winters ki shuruat mein, hum kharif crop ko harvest kar lete hai. So, harvest karne ke baad field mein kya? Kuch nahi ugaaya jata? That's not true. After harvesting it, we will sow rabi crops. Rabi crops are winter crops. Inko October or November mein sow kiya jata hai and they are harvested by March and April. So, now you know the pattern ki barish shuru hote hi kharif crops lagaye jate hai jinko winter ke onset mein harvest kar liya jata hai. इनके हार्वेस्टिंग के बाद राबी क्रॉप्स लगाए जाते हैं जो विंटर क्रॉप्स हैं। फॉर एग्जांपल वीट विंटर क्रॉप है, ग्राम पी लिंसीड ये सारे राबी क्रॉप्स हैं और ये क्वेश्चन और ये टेबल इन पर्टिकुलर बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है आपके एग्जाम्स के लिए। वैसे ही खारिफ क्रॉप्स पैडी मेस सो पैडी फील्ड्स अगर आपने कभी नोटिस किया हो तो घुटनों तक पानी होता है जब इनकी 
सोइंग बुआई होती है राइट सो दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ खारिफ क्रॉप दीज क्रॉप डिपेंड ऑन मॉनसून रेन फॉर ग्रोथ सो खारिफ क्रॉप किस पर डिपेंड करते हैं मॉनसून के रेन पर और ये डिपेंड करते हैं नॉर्मल विंटर सीजन पर इनका मॉनसून से कोई डिपेंडेंसी नहीं होता तो आप सोच रहे होंगे मैम जून जुलाई में हमने डाला खारिफ क्रॉप और मार्च में हमने मार्च अप्रैल में हमने हार्वेस्ट हार्वेस्ट कर लिया राबी क्रॉप्स तो मार्च से लेकर जून तक क्या फील्ड खाली रहते हैं नहीं दिस इज द टाइम व्हेन वी सो द जेद क्रॉप्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टेक्सट बुक्स डू नॉट हैव दिस बट यू शुड नो द जेद क्रॉप्स दे आर द समर क्रॉप्स यू ग्रो वॉटरमेलन मस्क मेलन कुकुम्बर्स एवरीथिंग लाइक दीज विच आर मोस्ट बेनिफिशियल इन समर्स अंडर द जैद क्रॉप सो देर आर थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ क्रॉप खारिफ राबी एंड जैद एंड दिस इज द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट वे ऑफ लर्निंग अबाउट दम Now, how is this done? It looks very easy. It sounds very easy. कि किसान खेतों में देल ग्रो द क्रॉप और हमें वो खाने की प्लेट में मिल जाता है पर यह इतना आसान नहीं है Let's see this. Agricultural practices. You have to prepare the land, you know, for agriculture. So the first step is preparation of soil. Then comes sowing, which is putting in the seeds. Then adding manure and fertilizer. Now understand, adding manure and fertilizers can happen even before sowing or with the sowing facility. We are doing this as well. Irrigation, that is providing water. Weeding, that is removal of waste plants. Harvesting, when you actually reap what you have sown. And threshing, that is getting the main crop and storage after it. Today we will only learn about preparation of soil, sowing and adding manures and fertilizers. How are we going to prepare the soil? For the preparation of soil, first you need to do plowing. हाँ जी वही हल जिसको शायद आपने फिल्मों में देखा होगा उसी हल से हम मिट्टी को ऊपर नीचे उबड़ खाबड़ करेंगे What we are trying to do is turn the soil upside down. so that it becomes more aerated and allows water to go through it right sowing the seeds but before we sow the seeds we are going to do leveling jo soil ko aapne upar niche kiya hai we are going to bring it to one level for our own benefit and then we will replenish it with nutrients then we will do irrigation that is providing water remove waste or unknown plants that are not required by weeding and then do harvesting threshing winnowing and then storage of grains all of these steps are very important we will only be looking at the first step for today preparation of soil includes three process rather first two process are most required for this the third can be treated as a separate process altogether and can be done after sowing as well right so plowing or tilling and then leveling so what are the advantages of plowing yes maine hal ki baat ki aur plowing ki baat ki par aisa karte kyu hai right so we first we loosen the soil right so that roots of the plants can penetrate through it right it has to be loosened so that the roots can go through it easily and it should allow the roots to breathe right that is breathing or requirement of air oxygen by the roots and that is why breathing is helped by plowing then we loosen the soil to help in growth of earthworms earthworms or microbe jo farmer ke friend hain wo bhi plowing ke wajah se excess amount mein bade aaram se soil mein aa jate hain helps in bringing nutrient rich soil to the top यूज होके जो ऊपर की सॉइल है वो न्यूट्रिय डिप्लिश हो जाता है उससे डिप्लेनिश हो जाता है और हमें उसको वापस से ऊपर करके नीचे वाली सॉइल को ऊपर लाना पड़ता है सो दैट वी आर टर्निंग द सॉइल अपसाइड डाउन एंड ब्रिंगिंग द न्यूट्रिय रिच सॉइल द टॉप सॉइल बिकॉज ऑफ एक्सेसिव यूजेस यूजेज रिड्यूस द न्यूट्रिय एंड वी रिक्वायर द लोअर सॉइल टू कम ऑन द टॉप इट हेल्प इन रिमूवल ऑफ वीज जो अनरिक्वायर्ड अननेसेसरी वहां पर प्लांट्स हैं वो हटा दिए जाते हैं 
डेड प्लांट्स और एनिमल्स वो डीकम्पोज होंगे और सॉइल बहुत ही न्यूट्रिय रिच हो जाएगी राइट सो दीज आर सम बेनिफिट ऑफ फ्लोइंग वॉट आर द इम्प्लीमेंट्स इम्प्लीमेंट्स आर बेसिकली डिवाइस या इंस्ट्रूमेंट जो आप यूज करते हैं फॉर एग्रीकल्चर नाउ द एग्रीकल्चर इम्प्लीमेंट्स आर फ्लो हो और कल्टिवेटर फ्लो एंड हो आर ट्रेडिशनल डिवाइजेस वेर एज द कल्टिवेटर इज अ ट्रेडिशन नॉट ट्रेडिशनल बट मॉडर्न इम्प्लीमेंट देन वी विल यूज अ लेवलर एंड अ क्रम क्रशर The diagram of plow is very important and is usually asked in exams, right? This portion of the plow, the plow share, right? It may have iron tip. You can have the whole plow made up of iron or wood, but the tip definitely would be of iron. Plow shaft, the middle plow portion, right? And then the topmost beam part, which is put on the bulls. The hoe is another traditional device which looks like this and can also be used to plow the field. It can also be used to remove the weeds as well. Cultivator is a tractor with additional attachments that helps in plowing the field. Earthworm, why are they important? Why are they called farmer's friend? A very important question again. So earthworm will penetrate the soil, make it more aerated and will also ensure that their excreta is adding on to the nutrient content of the soil. Leveling. Once you have done plowing, there are chances that there would be certain bigger crumbs in the soil. Those crumbs needs to be crushed, right? Those, those crumbs needs to be crushed. And then the soil needs to be leveled by a simple wooden device like this. Leveling करने से पानी एक जगह इकट्ठा नहीं होता और आपको कोई problem नहीं आती है during irrigation and during sowing of the field. Manuring हमेशा हमें अपने soil को nutrient rich बनाना बहुत जरूरी है This can be done with the help of organic manures or fertilizers. These are some differences. Manures are organic material made in the farm by using waste material like uh, the plants which have broken from the branches or the excreta of animals. All of that are used to prepare manure. And it can be prepared in the fields, right? It has a lot of humus. It does not change, you know, the composition of the soil as such but adds on to humus. But fertilizers are prepared in factories and they do not provide any humus. They are rich in particular nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. We call it the NPK. These are the nutrients which are naturally not supplemented by manure or the humus as we call it. So these nutrient specific fertilizers are helpful but fertilizers can either make the soil more acidic or sometimes excessively basic. So we have to be more careful about it. Mostly it is the acidic component of the soil that kind of makes it difficult for us to cultivate on a long run. But sometimes a particular mix use of manure and fertilizers are very important. So I think we will end the first video here and continue with the second step in the second video that's coming up for you. I hope you like the video. Please do like and share. Thank you.